Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. This is an episode from a series that I'm going and I'm about to start called the uh, coffee break of a hardware engineer. I'm going to present parts that I find interesting. So I just came across a part which is made by Texas Instruments, which I think is brilliant. And everything I, I, I read the data sheet briefly, but most of the features that I came across, they're actually brilliant. So thank you very much, uh, Texas Instruments, for doing this. I'm not affiliated with Texas Instrument. This is not a promotional video or anything. I'm just amazed by the quality and the feature of this part. So stay tuned. Okay, guys, this is the part that I'm talking about. It's called INA745A. So what it is, it's a shunt. It's actually, it's not just a shunt and the uh, current measurement uh, IC, it's more than that. So if you want to measure currents or you have any application where you send out, you know, power outside of the board and you want to monitor that power, it, it's not easy. I mean, you, you, Texas Instruments and others, they have those uh, shunt amplifiers or instrumentation amplifiers and um, they all have pros and cons and they, but this part is brilliant, and I'll tell you why I think it's brilliant. First of all, it has the shunt incorporated. So I'll just click on here on the, so you can see it better. So the shunt is incorporated into the part. And not only that, but if you look here at a preview of the package, it's actually very, very nicely integrated. So this is the shunt here, the shunt terminal. So this is a very, very, very well thought part. So coming back to the block diagram, so it has the shunt, right? Uh, it actually monitors not just the, the current flowing to the shunt, but the voltage. So it's it can actually perform power calculation and charge calculation. So you can actually attach this to a charger or you can attach this to any system where you need to monitor the power and make power calculations. Now, this makes all the power calculation internally, so you don't need to... Uh, Put that into a microcontroller to make the calculation. Now another brilliant thing about this, I, it's a long list of good things. Uh, you see the output of the shunt here, they're not connected directly to the input amplifier so you can actually, now you need to connect this with this and this with that, but you can actually put an external filter if you want to filter. If this is a noisy uh, line, I mean the, the noisy current to this shunt, you can actually get rid of some of the noise by putting your external filter. So this is very clever that it didn't connect it by default. So you can attach something out. Now the ADC, which serves all this IC, it's quite good, it's 16 bits. So it's, you have a lot of uh, dynamic range there. Now there is a, something else, which is in the data sheet. I'm going to open the data sheet. Um, there is actually a temperature sensor, which is thermally connected to the shunt. So if you want to maintain a large precision, because the shunt, you like it or not, is going to change, the temperature is going to change. So you're, you're going to dissipate some power there. So you can actually compensate for the, for the, uh, for the temperature errors. Anyway, uh, here you can, it actually kind of shows here what you can monitor. You can monitor power, you can monitor energy. Energy means you can accumulate energy over time. So I guess it has, must have some accumulator. Uh, charge, current, uh, bus voltage, so you can, it samples the voltage here. Uh, uh, not to mention that the common mode voltage 40 volts. So this will be fantastic in industrial application. Okay, so uh, let's open the data sheet. Very, 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 very short because, oh yes, another thing which I, it's worth to be mentioned, price. This is $1 in large quantity, in 1K quantities. So I guess if you buy just one, it's not going to be that cheap. So if I go here where ordering quality, you see here, it, the price is fantastic. One kilo units, one K units, one dollar and a cent, one dollar. This, this is this is hard to, to say no to such a part. Now, uh, I'm not going to go to all the data sheet because the data sheet is kind of, you know, um, how should I say, complex. Uh, but it has averaging. It has a lot of interesting things. Precision is fantastic. Now, I like the shunt because it's only 800, I'm just going to make this a little bit larger, 800 micro ohms. This is like, so you're not going to dissipate a lot across this shunt. The continuous current plus minus 35 amp. So I'm judging from the plus minus here that this is bidirectional. 
So if you connect this to a, to a charger, you can actually uh, measure the what goes in the battery when you charge and what comes out of the battery. That's my guess. I didn't I didn't actually read everything. Um, okay, shut down five microamps operational current. It, are, it has. I mean, the figures of merit here they are outstanding. I love this part. So I'm not going to go. As I said, I'm not going to go to the data sheet. Another thing which actually caught my eye was the speed of the the speed of I square C, 2.94 megahertz. Such an odd number, nearly three megahertz. So this part is very very fast. If you have something to read that fast, probably can. Now I don't think the conversions are going to be that fast, but yeah, look. So yeah, uh, let's go to the pinout. I love the pinout. The pinout it's so well thought. So yeah, this, you have the shunt here. You have here the you know the uh, output of the shunt and input into the plus side of the um, differential amplifiers. Uh, same thing here, so you can make a filter here, make a filter here. Yes, another thing which I, I read briefly, the data sheet, it actually has registers, so you can set up alert for maximum and minimum uh, values, and you can get an interrupt, so you can offload a lot of functionality from the microcontroller. Um, yeah, that's it. That's all I had to present. I love this part. Uh, I love they made this part, so thank you very much, um, Texas Instruments. Well done. See you in the next one.